I'm gonna put on my headphones like so. It's just because there are other people in the other room and we're gonna be talking about the S-E-X and I don't wanna feel judged so I'm just going to throw on my headphones and say whatever the fuck I wanna say. Well, today apparently I am sex therapist Troy. Oh, what an episode this one's gonna be, let me tell you. I gotta make sure that this mic is strapped in because it might just get a little, might get a little slippery and accidentally slip out. Everyone say hi to Chauncey the cow. Ooh, thank you very much. The birds and the bees and the phonies. Classes in session. I was originally going to give you a different episode that had to do with, mm, well, let's just say something a little bit more insightful, a little bit more productive. But I was scrolling through Instagram and, well, whose profile did I come across? Someone that I had some sexual relations with. And I laughed. And do you want to know why I laughed? Okay, well, I don't care because I'm going to tell you anyways. I laughed because... My sex with that person wasn't necessarily up to par. This person online really knew how to promote herself very well. But when it came to the actual act, I wasn't impressed. I really wasn't impressed. This goes hand in hand for guys and girls. I always wonder, with all these people promoting like their OnlyFans and stuff like that, I wonder how many of those people actually know what they're doing in the bedroom. Wow, I haven't even introduced the episode yet. I am so sorry. Hi guys, welcome back to Troy Talks A Lot. I'm your host, Troy, and I'll be talking a lot about the birds, the bees, and the phonies. I just got so fired up for this episode that I just dove right in and I apologize. Anyways, as I previously mentioned, I was scrolling through Instagram not even 20 minutes ago and a girl came across my page who uh, I have had the SEX with. It's always interesting to me to see how these girls present themselves online, but then very few people know what they're actually like behind closed doors. This goes for both guys and girls. I'm not just singling out the girls. But with all of these people promoting their OnlyFans or their, you know, whatever other sites they use, 99.999999% of it is sexual content, which I'm not even going to touch on. That's a completely different episode. Oh, I have to tell Frankie not to frost the cupcakes. Sorry, we're making cupcakes. Frankie! Don't frost the cupcakes. So many people present themselves online as these OnlyFans people, which again is very explicit content. I think to the viewer makes you think, oh, well they must really know what they're doing in the bedroom. But I'm here to tell you that I've had some experiences and let's just say there are a lot of phonies out there. I don't know what it is. I'm not saying I'm a sex god by any means. Wow, I'm, uh, you know, 24 inch cock Troy, who's just gonna just blow your back out for three hours. But I feel like going into an experience like that with somebody who poses as this huge, oh, sexual naughty person, you would just think that they're probably to like a certain level. Half the time, they don't even know what they're doing. It, it could even start at the makeout. There are times I have just started making out with girls who are like late 20s, early 30s, and they have no idea what the fuck they're doing. And I'm just like, how have you gone through life for like almost 30 years and you just don't know how to like pick up the vibe or the or the flow of another person? You know, when it's just it's just not like this, the experience just isn't necessarily up to par. And you're just like, man, there are people that don't necessarily have the experience and that's OK. Just kind of slow down, ease into it and let the other person steer the course. You just kind of follow. It's like line dancing. They put the right foot out, you put your right foot out. They put their left foot out, you put your left foot out. Now you kick, now kick, now walk it by yourself. Now you do the same thing and then you're walking it by yourself with like 30, 40, 50 other people out there. Stop. I don't want you guys to think that I get around. I don't get around. When I was 22, I want to say, 22, maybe it was 21 but I could count the number of people I've been with on one hand. I then broke up with my girlfriend, went a little rogue. But now, you know, I've definitely 
had my fair share and that's why I feel like I'm able to touch on this topic. But don't think that I'm a little slut, okay? I'm not a little slew. Whatever number you're thinking right now, divide it by two and maybe add one. That's what, that's probably what I'm at. Anyways, this episode's not about me, it's about the phonies. And let me tell you right now, there are a lot of people out there that don't necessarily know what they are doing. They don't. Hey, they don't know how to make out. They don't know much about foreplay. There's just times when I'm like, whoa i don't know where you learned how to do that but that is not how you do it that does not feel good at all too much teeth i'm sure there's a lot of you out there that don't necessarily need to hear this but for those of you that might be lacking in the well confidence department when it comes to the sex or the f-o-r-e-p-l-a-y there's a lot of people that just don't know what they're doing I'm not here trying to shame them. If we were to flip the script, there's probably a lot of guys where you're like, wow, that guy's ripped. He's so fucking sexy, he's so hot. Like the way he moves his body is so attractive. But then maybe you take him home and you're like, bro, like that was one of the worst experiences I've ever had in my entire life. We're all young. We're all figuring it out. However, there are older people that still don't have it together either. <sighs> I don't know. I'm I'm totally in my MILF era where I would love to um, explore a more mature lady uh, just to see like what it's all about because I've heard through the grapevine that mature women know exactly what they want, how to get it. They're very vocal about it, which is very hot. I think the oldest I've ever been with is 32 and I was like 25 and 32 I really don't consider mature. I read all the comments, by the way, and a lot of the mature queens are always saying, "Ugh, he just said 40 or Ugh, he just said 50 is mature. At what point do I cap young and then go mature? 60? So listen, if you're mature, that just means you're wise. That doesn't mean that you're old. That doesn't mean that you're ugly. That just means you're wise. You know what you want. And you're not afraid to get it. That's what mature means. It doesn't mean that you're an old piece of shit for all you mature kings and queens out there, just letting you know. <clears throat> but anyways, there has been quite a few moments that I've had where I was just like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm just waiting for one of the girls that I've had sex with to like leave a bad review in the comments, be like, oh, we hooked up on April 13th, 2017, and you were the worst I've ever had. I'd be like, Joke's on you, that was six years ago, hon. I had only slept with five people then. So yeah, no shit it was, Samantha. I don't think I've ever hooked up with Samantha before. Don't think I'm a slut, by the way. I promise I haven't slept with that many people. Just enough to give you some of this information. Anyways, there are a lot of phonies out there and a lot of people that don't know what they're doing. And sometimes I just wonder, how have you done this for the past X amount of years? Like, like, do people actually like say, wow, that was so great. Or like, oh, you're the best I've ever, <laughs> I've ever had. Because a lot of the times the guys will say that just so that they can get more of it. How about this? Let's just say I've been with 20 people. We'll play a guessing game. Of the 20, how many people would you say I would rate the experience a seven or more out of 10. Take your guess right now. Leave it in the comments. I'll pause this video. Actually, I'll sing, I'll sing Jeopardy. Oh, I have to think too. Of the 20, well, that means it could be 7, 8, 9, or 10. I haven't had a 10, but I've had a 9. I'm going to leave that out. You could read my lips if you wanted. Hmm. 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 I don't have a list. I don't have a list. I feel like I should make a list. Three. Three of the 20 
I would say are a seven or higher. But what I'm saying is even besides the people that love to post these this sexual content online, don't necessarily know what they're doing. They're all just trying to have a good time, okay? We're all just trying to have a good time. When you're in college, you really don't know what you're doing. You're just like, okay, I'm gonna put some nuts and guts and hump for five seconds and poof. That was awesome. That was cool. Do it again sometime. So I feel like you have to experience some of those not so great hookups to then further appreciate the better ones that are to come or may have come. Maybe this dude in fucking freshman year of college is just slinging it down like he's motherfucking Johnny Sins. I don't know. I'll be the first to say that's not me. Put me in TikTok tea room, but unfortunately, Troy does not have a 10 inch wiener. The average penis size is five and a half in the US. Let me see. Average male penis size. Oh, 5.16 inches, 3.61 flaccid, 5.16 hard. All right. I take that back. Call me Johnny Sins. I am better than I thought. Wow. One second. I told my ex-girlfriend three inches was enough. She never believed me. Uh, sorry, there was a spider that I was trying to run away from. Anyways, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to give it to you straight. Ready? We're not all sex gods. I'd say 99.999% of the population here on Earth really isn't. Some guys lay it down. Some girls lay it down. But I'd say out of every 100 experiences, actually, I take that back. Let's just say out of every 10 experiences, Nine of them are just going to be all right. One experience, however, is going to leave you in shambles. You're going to be walking out of there in a wheelchair. You're going to be waking up the next day like, holy shit, did my vagina just get smacked by a semi? Now, at this point, I'm just having fun with this conversation. For those of you that are experiencing any sort of anxiety when it comes to um, sex, we're not holding you at a very high standard and ladies i don't think that you're really holding us to much of a high standard either listen not everybody is usain bolt but some people know how to run fast not everybody's johnny sins but some people know how to fuck. Just remember not everyone that you see online is this huge grandiose sexual presence they're honestly probably just hiding behind that and putting their sexuality first to overcompensate for certain things. I feel like it's the equivalent of a small guy driving a huge truck. Most people don't necessarily know how to make out. Once we kind of get that going, then we could kind of level up to the foreplay. And then once we get to the foreplay, then we can start rounding homes. Let's hit first base, second base, third base, home. Oh, I love you guys so much. Anyways, thank you so much for listening to another episode of Troy Talks A Lot. This was Birds, the Bees, and the Phonies. Like, comment, and subscribe. We are on the road to 10K. We're almost there. Not really, but we're speaking it into existence. Um, once we get there, I'm taking one of you guys out on a hot date. So subscribe, like, then comment. I respond to all the comments on this video within the first 24 hours. I love you guys. Thank you again for watching another episode of Troy Talks A Lot. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.